So I guess we're talking to Loar now? Alright, Loar is that way. Who is Loar again? I don't know. Hi. What do you want? Boss is busy. I'm on to business. Good. Boss could use some good news. Listen up. Don't waste his time. These are explosive times. Be respectful. Will do. I'm not here to chit chat with the likes of you. What? Easy. Marla's one of us. I brought you up from girl to woman, Marla. Like you was my own. This. He lifts his right arm, showing a white bandage beneath his ribs. A wet red spot shows through. This ain't the thanks I expected. Who sent you? <laughs> Looks like there was an assassination attempt here. The formidable dwarf slams his fist on the side table. You hear a loud crack. Enough! Do you know they killed Anna? Do ya? Start talking sense or I'll take that tongue right out of your mouth and fry it for supper. Stay quiet. Bart, Kate, get her to talk or bleed her out. She ain't one of mine anymore. His sneer travels from the restrained dwarf to you. And you. What? You better have a damn good reason for coming here. Come, sis. What Brave lass. Walks in and here now. I hope for your sake you've got good news for me. Depending on what you're interested in. Because I got things I want to know too. You came into my ass, bub. Not the other way around. He winces loudly and holds a hand to the bandage on his side. The large red spot in its center has grown larger and wetter. I can... Oh, tell him you're looking for someone who's got... Tells him it looks like someone got him right under the ribs with a short blade. Professional, probably. The best of the best. <laughs> Taught her myself. Under the third ribbon out again, just like that. Lucky for me, she caught an old wound. Scar slowed down the knife. So, how'd you make it out of Fort Joy? I regale him the tale. <laughs> I've got to say I'm impressed. I love a good story. Here's one I heard lately. A group of strangers landed on the beaches outside town. Meister Seaver's people. You one of her little seekers? Chasing down Godwoken and begging them to save us all. You got the gist of it. So? What do you want? I'm looking for certain powerful sorcerers. Ah, I should have guessed. And it just so happens I can help you. Depending on what you can do for me. What you got in mind? He gestures towards the bandage across his side. Had a bit of family trouble lately. My girl Marla got it in her head to come after me with a short blade. That ain't like Marla. Ain't like her to pull the silent treatment either. Something's going on. And wouldn't you know it, that blade she used wasn't any normal bit of steel. Belonged to another of my people. Guy's name is Mordus. Bit of a loner, but smart as hell. I sent a few guys to go check on him, see if he knew what had got into Marla, but no one can find him. I'd like a word with the guy. Sounds reasonable. Where should I start looking? Glad you see it that way. No one's seen him in a good few. I've got some people checking out his house near the tavern now, though. Tell them I sent you, and they'll let you know what they've found. Truth is, they might be glad to see you. Reckon a sorcerer will have better luck finding one of their own. Any, uh, something else I like to discuss. I'm listening. Um, I came across a wrecked caravan in town. It looks like some doors were involved. That's right. Lost one of my best lads, Anhar. Didn't get Jalia's body back though. Maybe one of them beasts took her like they did the sorcerers. Well, I saw her. She was kind of traumatized and she ran off. That's, well, I reckon that's good news. Poor thing. She'll be back in time. She and Anhar were sweethearts. You can go grab the bodies? We will. 
Once the Reds turn down the alarm a bit. They're jumpy as all hell for the moment. Won't do anyone any good to raise a ruckus now. What do you do here? Whatever needs doing. Isn't that obvious? Ah, eh, figured. Alright, I'll check out the house. Good. One more thing. Like I said, Mordus is a sorcerer. Maybe even one of the ones Seaver's after. If there's something you want to find out from him, you might want to ask before I have my word with him. Got it. Here, you can take this off my hands. More suited to your kind, really. Good luck. Alright, what did I get? Ah, oh, fancy dagger. I'm just gonna sell it. I still need a good belt, though. Alright. I can't go through there. They won't let me. Um... Anybody here? Connell, the boastful one? So there's the um, waypoint. Um, is that a mecha? Is that a pressure plate? That's another one, right? Well, it looks like we gotta get some crates. Is there any crates around here? Um. Will those work? I think I can grab them. Be right back! I got crates. Water looks really good in this game. Alright. I don't know what I just ate. Alright. Come on, let's go. I solving puzzles. No thing in there. Okay. Alright, let's check this out. One... Hold on. One there. And... One over here. Scuffling and tussling. Let's see if you got some fight in you. Ah. Uh, later. You're level eleven. Yeah, these are. F this is an arena. Okay, I'll come back here when I hit a couple levels. All right. All right. Do 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 do. All right. Let's go to the square. You still have people to talk to? You? Well met, friend. You look down at the cart and see fish with flaking scales, tumors, and, in one case, three heads. It's free to look. Just don't touch nothing unless you're gonna make my purse jingle. <laughs> Fair travels, friend. Uh, have a dagger. I don't need it. It's a really nice dagger. Me, I don't need it. Nothing good. Oh. The void woken are everywhere. And... Thank the divine you're here to protect us. Yeah, yeah, and and taking souls out of people and shit like that. Oh, you must be a uh, magic seller. My word, but you do look exhausted. I bet you could use a touch of magic. I could. Have at it. Got yourself situated. Okay, let's see what we got. That's a nice wand. It costs too much. Um, all right, playing radiance. Dazzling boss. Sir. I need another friends. swap. Never Ooh, forget it. Ooh, this could be good. And 
Do you have teleportation? I need to learn that. I think I'll do just teleportation for now. Yep, yep. Alright, so... Alright, learn teleport. Teleport is always useful. Always useful. I thought I learned it. I thought I just learned it. Did, did I not learn it? I'm so confused. So I'm the only one that can learn error right now, right? I think I'm gonna give you these. Now, uh, I'm giving you the red prince. There's a lot of coal for the junk you sell, then. Junk? Why, I offer nothing less than the wisdom of the ancients. And. I... fiction, along with a large helping of hand. Woke up this morning in a Alright, cool. So. We made it back safe and sound. That's all you got to think about right now. Alright. And you sell po- Oh, Silent Watcher. Calm as a coiled spring held tight. This sign- Alright. Um, I guess I should talk to some of the people over there. We, we're, I'm trying to gather as much quests as possible. Glad to see you well. Anything more? Um, no, don't need anything more. I, I don't have any more money for now. Dog! 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 Hackles raised. The dog barks at the sand built up beneath the building. Good doggy. Where are you barking at? There's something not right, and that's wrong. It's under the house thing there, and it's bad. I can smell it. I'll look into it. You be careful now. What's under there smells real bad. It smells evil. You can say that with the dirty wizard and go with mum until you're cured. Okay. Oh, mushrooms. Everybody's like, why are you getting mushrooms? <laughs> so you said it's under the house? Alright, what's it what's this house? Driftwood fish works. Fish. Oh, of course it smells bad. It's full of fish. Oh my god, everything smells bad. I don't care if you tear this place apart plank by plank. We will find him. You'll be warned, Barnes. Now, get back to your fish. The Magister turns, and his eyes fall on you. Hi. You, tell me. Have you seen a man acting suspiciously near here? Grey cloak, grey beard? Satchel slung over his shoulder. Uh, haven't found, haven't seen anybody like that. Blast! Well, if you do see anything odd, report it immediately. There is a foul creature lurking in one of these shadows, and we will find him. Who are you? I'm new. Who are you looking for exactly? A sorcerer. He arrived dressed as a tinkerer, but then magisters started disappearing. As soon as we asked him about it, he fled. Who knows what he's done with our divine brothers? How do you know the tinker is responsible? He was seen with the effects of one of our company. Not only was he behind her disappearance, he brazenly flaunted it in the tavern. We chased him to this factory, but lost him on the docks. Now, I have a patrol to complete. If you see anything, tell me. If any of you see so much as a rat's hair out of place, you tell the Magisters. Then we can get them out, Oi. and you can get back to work. You look the kind of wench you can keep a secret. Fancy a good time. Head downstairs in the Black Bull Tavern. Tell the Lummox blocking the way that Blathin gave you a tip off. Hmm. Grisha's still the favorite. If I bet against him, I could win big. Oh, hey there, buddy. 
You see a man, well-fed and wealthy, but stress has lined his face and narrowed his waist. He tries to ignore your presence, fails. He sighs. See here. I'm very busy. The factory is crawling with magisters, and our shipments to Arx are held up. Time is money. Don't waste my money. What do you want? What are the magisters looking for? A murderer, or a sorcerer, or some other species of miscreant. Whichever it is, it has nothing to do with me, except that it's stopping me shipping my fish into Arx. Now, please. But all your fish are void tainted. When you've been in business as long as I have, you learn that there's a market for everything. You just have to find it, or... A dark shadow passes across his face. Sometimes it finds you. Who's gonna ask, do you want void tainted fish? That's privileged information. I have a trade to protect. Come on, for persuasion, up all the intelligence. Ask him if you look like the kind of person who trades fish for a living. Do I? But you're right, you don't seem the type. The answer to your question is, unsurprisingly, a man in a house. A man in a house buys all the void tainted fish I can send him. That dark shadow crosses his face once more. He shivers. Not that I've ever met the man. Not sure I want to, if I'm honest. I'd like to meet him. Absolutely not. I don't give away sensitive information like that to anyone who just asks for it. And I don't keep it lying around, neither. That really is enough now. I'm asking you to leave. Good day. Hey, my prince, maybe you can... If in! If in, you talk to him. You see a man, well fed and- I'm busy, goodbye. Okay, guess that wasn't wor worth it. Alright. Magister, Magister... Canix. Hmm? What? You've been needing something from me, lad? Ain't much inclined to rub elbows with humans if you catch my drift. Shirt sided. Ain't no one been standing together since Lucian died. Ain't been no goodwill among your kind or mine or anyone else's since the Reds have been in charge. I don't really like the Magisters myself. Glad to hear you say it. The day will come we'll overthrow them, you mark my words. Until then, I'll practice the art of gutting on spoiled fish. Do you know about the fugitive they're looking for? Fugitive? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think that's something I should be discussing with strangers. Come on, I hate magisters, you hate magisters. Because I don't intend to end up with me lips stitched together, that's why. No, no, I shan't be baited. I ain't saying nothing on the topic no more. Come on, come on, come on. God damn it. I said no, and I meant it. Maybe I can... Mm -hmm. What? Ain't no one been standing to... Glad to hear you say it. Why do you hate him? Will... I... I had friends. Good friends. Not even dwarves, some of them. Reds put him on a ship, sailed him to Fort Joy. Ever heard of that place? Fort Joy? They send you there it means you ain't never coming back. Um, yeah, I, I was there. You mean to say you escaped? Crawled your way out of the belly of the beast? Crikey. And I killed all the magisters there, too. So you're a sorcerer, then. In that case, you must know about the fugitive. That fella all those reds are looking for. I mean, if he's a sorcerer, too, you want to do right by him, won't you? Make yeah. Make sure they don't catch the poor bugger. The dwarf leans in and begins whispering conspiratorially. This fella runs along, right? Sweating, panicking. Reds resting after him like hunting hounds. Hide in a barrel, you fool, I yelled. And what do you know? He did. Problem is, he's still in there. Been hours. Can't go nowhere, he can't. Not with the Reds around. Hmm. Still no sign. I'll flash the rat out, wherever he's hiding. He won't get another one of my brothers. So, report. Did you find anything? I should have the option to lie. Blast! Well, if you do see anything odd, rip. All right. Anyone else around here? I don't see anybody. All right, 
he's around here somewhere. I gotta help him get out. How do I help him? Still no sign. I'll flash the rat out wherever he's. So, report. Did you find anything? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna try to. Fuck off! Watch your tongue. Sir Raymond himself gave me order to find the tinkerer hiding in here. But I can still find time to haul you to a cell. Who's Raymond? Sir Raymond. He commands the garrison here, such as it is. He's on the docks, if you wish to speak to him. Now, for the last time, have you seen anyone dress as a tinkerer in this charm little house? Bye. You can walk away from me, but if you see anything strange, report it immediately. Or the next magister to go will be on your head. I'm going to try to... Oh. Get him out of here somehow. Alright, we'll be back. I'm Alexander. You're the source. Take that, sorcerer. Dallas, get her. You're dead, Alexander. Alexander, you're dead. You have to stay dead until we say you're not dead anymore. Here, missus. Alexander doesn't have to stay dead, does he? Alexander can come back if he wants to. See? Told ya. Take that, sorcerer. Come on, Dallas. Help me put a collar on her. Turtle Johnny puts an invisible source collar on Mary Lane. Take that, sorcerer! No more saucy sorcery for you! Alexander and Dallas save the world again! I hate this game. Point out if Alexander can come back to life, a sorcerer can learn how to break a source collar. The three kids stare at you in awe. Crap! The source collar's broken. I'm free. How about you, Dallas? I'll kill you again, Alexander. I'm a big bad sorcerer. Woohoo! For a moment, you watch the children play. Then you leave them to it. Then we can get them out, and you can get back to work. All right. Who is Stuart? Damn work and nothing to show for it. Might as well have rotted in the death fog. What's even the point? Hi there. An elf in tattered red robes shifts through pages of handwritten notes spread across the table. So many suspects, so many potential culprits. I need to narrow down the list. Think, you damn elf, think. A floorboard creaks beneath your foot. The elf leaps around abruptly. What? What? Why do you sneak up on me? Don't you know how dangerous that is, the way things are? Uh, what do you mean? Haven't you heard? My own Magister comrades are vanishing from right here in Driftwood. Whoever's behind it must be stopped. If you hear anything, come to me. You don't look like a Magister. I was removed from their ranks due to my elven blood. I'll continue to serve, though. I won't stand to see my comrades taken by some vile traitor. Why don't you just start a new life? The Magisters are all I know, all I want. I turned my back on everything else when I joined them. My name, my blood, my history. If I'm not one of them, I'm nothing. I have to help them. Three magisters missing so far, and the rest are hunting for some sorcerer called Igba, a bloody tinkerer. He can't be responsible. I'm certain he can't. Then who's responsible? That's what I'm intent on finding out. This tavern is full of scum and degenerates. The true culprit could easily conceal themselves amongst them. I have to keep investigating. Keep the pressure up. The culprit will make a mistake eventually. If you see anything suspicious, let me know. What's in front of you? Civic pride, perhaps? The respect of those who safeguard your people? You don't know how lucky you are to be born a human. But they abandoned you. What? I serve with utter loyalty now and forever. Now get away from me and don't come back unless you have information I can use. <sighs> Asshole. Useless. Might as well have rotted in the death box. Alright, what's in here? Baskets and other stuff. This must be the place Lohan mentioned. It looks unassuming enough. Useless. 
bloody useless. All right, let's go check out this place. Looks like his door is right there. All right, I guess we're going on the second floor. Guess we're not going on the second floor. Is there another entrance? Another entrance. There we go. The dwarf is unnaturally still. You might mistake her for a corpse, were it not for a slight twitch of her eyelids. I'm gonna... Wet Willy! She slowly opens her left eye, then her right, and wipes away the slobber. What's it to you, slow wit? I have an visit. I need to get through the hatch. The dwarf unfolds her arms and shoots to her feet. All right, human. We're well, glad Lohar ain't left us here to wither. Those brutes are taking their sweet time down there. I gotta send word soon. All right, heading down. Get to it then. But tell the lunkheads that Glenn has sent you before they bash your brains in. What's this? Get your I found together. something. No heart there it is. Just Mordus covered his trucks good. There we go. The door's opening. Hey there. By Duna's dagger. You here to free us or kill us? Lothar, Loar sent me. The male dwarf expels two lungfuls of air and glances happily at his companion. We've only been fretting here for a few hours, but it's felt like days. That snot-nosed priest's as slippery as a snake in an oil drum. Ain't found nothing that lets on what Mordus is up to. Only thing we managed were to close that door and get us stuck. And if there's another door out there, never could find it. No, I ain't gonna be pleased. This Mordus, what's he up to? Where has he gone? Ain't no telling where that priest has gone to. Started acting all funny not so long ago, then flew the coop. How so? Well, at first, he was just buddying around with Lohar and the rest, you know. But then he'd start looking all sickly and run off for a day or two. Then some stranger tried taking old Lohar down, but got himself caught and tied up. Ain't no coincidence Mordus went hanging around then. She taps a finger against her forehead. A woman knows things. Nothing's getting past me. Okay. Best we head off then. We've got business to attend to. Alright, what we got in here? Besides stealing all his shit to make some coin. Kitchen pot. Some gold. Oh, chew toy. I have so many potion bottles. Ooh. Here, nothing here. What's this? The shrine depicts Duna, yet has clearly seen better days. Scratches and fissures deface its exterior, and its eyes have been gouged hollow. I never touch it. The stone is cold against your palm. If this figure once held power, it has since been depleted. Pray? You scrape your knee on the wooden floor. Nothing else happens. Okay. Um, alright, let me... We don't need that. We're probably gonna sell it off. Um... What did I... Ooh. Warfare and 21... What you got for rings? 22 armor. Plus one warfare. Geomancer. I can... Anybody need a ring? A better ring? Yeah. Have a better ring. Okay, uh, this book. Into the deep. Ah. Dorvin Satire. Okay! Get stuck. 
and I can get unstuck. It's probably the statue. Let me move this out of the way. Jackpot. What we got here? You're a lucky man. Your failure to assassinate Lohar could have been ruinous. Yet our Lord provides his grace. But we're granting you more at Achem. The ritual required to, to requires an excess of so You're anxious to prove your allegiance. Use it rightly. Your orders are to remain the same. See that the weapons from the Peacemaker meet arcs are unharmed. The number of gold wogan who have escaped from the fort, they should pass through drift heart to their meister. Make sure they pass no further. Will want to know of this. Yeah, we'll talk to Loar then. Anything else? Dope just sheets of paper? That's schematic. Ah! On the statue's back, I see. Alright, let's see what's in these barrels first. I think that's all that's in here, so let's touch that. The shrine depicts Duna, yet is clearly seen. You run your hands along the exterior until your feet. There's no mistaking the sound. Of all right, we still have to go to the um, top floor, second floor of the Bulls tav Tavern, because that's where his thing is at. 